Hey guys, how's it going? I'm out with Simon here again. I want to do an exercise today on hydraulic failures. So um, in a helicopter, uh, they have a hydraulic system which makes the controls nice and smooth and easy to use. So I'm going to shut uh, Simon's hydraulics off right now. And I want to give you guys a little bit of analogy of what that actually means. So do you guys remember back in the old days, um, cars that have did, didn't have power steering? Well, it was really stiff to move the steering wheel, right? It's the same kind of thing in a helicopter, but the difference is in a helicopter, you actually need that sensitivity. Um, it's you know very small and, and sensitive movements to fly the helicopter, so a lot more difficult to fly it without your hydraulic system. So Simon is uh, working pretty hard on the controls right now, and uh, we're coming around. Now, typically with an emergency like this, you would want to land on asphalt, so we've selected um, a spot that we can land. I've already requested a landing on asphalt. If you uh, weren't near an airport or something, you could uh, find a road or something that's uh, smooth and hard. Grass will work, but uh, asphalt is definitely much better. Um, you could, if it was a relatively short distance, you could fly back to an airport and then uh, declare that emergency and let them know that uh, you would like a hard surface. So what Simon's doing now, he's coming in on a long and shallow approach. You want to make sure you don't come in too steep and, and fast or anything. Long and shallow, so he's getting her down nice and low now. And uh, we've chosen our area just out in front of us. We're going to come around into wind for that. And so he's doing really good. Now it's important to keep a little bit of forward movement going. You try not to stop it all the way into a hover. So right now he's just starting to get into wind here. And um, that's looking really good. He's keeping that forward movement going. He's keeping it nice and shallow. Keeping that forward movement going all the way in. That's great. The helicopter wants to pendulum at this point, and so he's doing a really good job at sort of just kind of staying ahead of the controls. That's really good. Keeping a little bit of forward movement going. And then down you go. Awesome. I hope you guys like this exercise. I know it was a short one, but um, I really, really enjoy kind of giving you guys, oh, somebody just flew over us, um, giving you guys an example of uh, what's, what's it like in these types of emergency situations, how we practice them, and how you can overcome them. Until next time, we'll talk to you guys later.